But what are we looking at today? So, with my home gym, there was a lot of things that I didn't have to think about at all. I knew I was getting strength co plates. I knew I was getting a three by three rack. I knew I was getting horse stall mats. I knew some things that were happening for sure. But the one I didn't know was the bench. What was gonna happen with the bench? And at Massonomics Gym, we have a lot of benches. We got the, the Rogue Flat Bench. You're gonna have to help me on the names here, Tanner. Yeah, we the, we'll call that, I don't know what the number is, but it's the Rogue, it's the nice Rogue Flat Bench. Is it like the bench. Monster Bench with a fat pad Something on it? Something like that. We yeah. have a Stray Dog adjustable bench. A couple Stray Dogs. We, we have, have Elite FTS dedicated benches. So there's an assortment of benches in there. I've used several through the years, and I didn't know what option I was gonna go with. But after a lot of research, some tough decision making, I landed here, and that is the Rep. 5200 adjustable bench. There she is. Spoiler alert, I'm happy with my decision. So should, uh, we, should we get into the details yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, so what are the details? So you've, you've taken it for a ride a few times then, I've, right? I've this done, is... uh, I've gotten a month and a half where the bench workout's in, and okay. I am loving it so far. It's been a great bench. So high level specs, Actually, high level. Don't, don't come to us for the exact specs. <laughs> I'm just going to do some quick off the top of my head thing. I believe it weighs about 120 pounds, uh, the way it's weighted. If you're picking up and moving it, very comfortable, very easy to do. You know, some people said it was too big, too heavy. What, what, what if you're just really strong and you make 120 pounds look like Well, nothing? I am really strong. Yeah. Uh, credit goes to Juggernaut AI there. <laughs> Check them out. Use code Massonomics. But uh, bench is big, 120 pounds there. The pad right here, it's a, what's the standard width pad? 12 inches? Yeah. It also is comes that what we're in. Dealing with? Yes, standard width pad. It has an option for a wider one if that's something you're into. So that does exist. It is the 17 inch from the floor, which is your standard IPF height, which is good. I like that. And the thing that is also really interesting, I like a lot, is this top pad is long enough that mm. when I'm benching, I can be completely on here. The adjustable part isn't even in the equation. I don't have to worry about the gap, the adjustable little seat here. When I'm benching, and I'm 6'1", so I'm right. not on the short side. I'm 6'1", I fit on this comfortably and easily. So, so you're saying your butt doesn't even touch my the My butt little, doesn't uh, even touch this. Yeah. And, that's, and that's not even me trying to be, you know, trying to stay up on this. This is just benching however I feel comfortable. I stay all the way on there. So it kind of makes the gap a little bit irrelevant. Then yeah, the gap, I mean, to me, the gap isn't even a factor. It doesn't even matter. And besides, right. it is about an inch. So really nothing to worry about there. Uh, like that. The bench also comes with the option. So adjustable, you know, tons of options there. It does come with an option for a decline post. If you listen to the podcast, you know how we feel about decline. We talked about it a fair amount. So I what, don't what are we talking there then? The, repl the post would come out and you would it, replace it with the post? It has the post? A, it, yeah, so it, yeah, you screw this in independently and it has like a pin where you can change the height on it. Okay. You know, if you want, so we're, we're talking like, <laughs> You know, not a whole lot of decline. It's it's not right. it's not a dramatic one, but right. the option does exist. I think that's like an additional forty dollars. I don't really care for that, so I left it out. That wasn't a, a factor for me. Other things about this bench, because what the hell's decline for though? Honestly, it's, so. it's what I wonder all the time. Other cool things about this bench is when you order it, you have a lot of color options. So you have I think like eight frame option colors. And then for the ladder and the other accents, you also have an additional eight colors. So if you want to go all red, all black, all white, you can do all of those, or you can go to do two-tone. And this is like a Massonomics affiliate gym here, so I'm all about the red and black two-tone. So I was happy to see that. That's no additional charge to do that. Other features, you got this nice knurled handle here. Mm, I do like that. Just a little, you know, I don't think it really adds a ton to the usability, but it does definitely make it feel more premium to see that. Uh, the front, you have this cool laser cut mountain logo. You know, it is rep there out of Colorado. So you have this cool, uh, oh, in the front yeah, you have this cool see. cutout here. Nice to have that. Also a knurled handle, which is another premium option. Yeah, let's see that. You know, no charge. It's just part of the game there. And if we're talking about this, okay. So then the other part of this, I ran you through the high level features of the whole thing. You start looking at making a buying decision. This right. bench costs about, it is $500. $500 for this as seen right here. Right. There is, I think, you know what I say, a $40 upgrade if you wanted to do the decline. If you wanted to do a wider pad, I believe that's another $40, something like that. Did the color cost you any more? Or color that... did not cost more. I think there was a stainless option, and the stainless option did cost additional, but I don't, I didn't want stainless. I wanted right. this. So this was $500 to my door. Shipping's free at row or at rep. So that's really, really nice. Now, if you're looking at the comparable ones, really, 
in, if you're talking, rep has some cheaper options, which I did consider briefly, but then if you're looking at slightly more expensive, you might say Rogue all of a sudden. And with Rogue, you're looking at, for a comparable bench, about $100 more. And then with Rogue, you're also paying for shipping. So now you're looking at like 170 ish And I just had a hard time saying an extra 170 bucks for what felt like the same bench. I mean, I could say Made in America, but functionally, I don't think I was gaining anything else from it. So that was, that was a hard sell for me. Also, Rep still being a very trusted uh, name brand. It's not like well, you're going, uh, going to someone that you're like, ah, oh, this is uh, potentially right, a far not, inferior buying product. Buying some cheap thing off of Amazon right. and being like, oh, what do we right. got here? I'm taking a get. Like, this is well reviewed. I had lots of guys. I reached out to all the review guys on Instagram, helped me make some decisions, and they all recommended this. You know, they said this is a, a great option, maybe the best option. And uh, I, I do feel very comfortable recommending this bench to anyone in the future. I don't even, if you said, what would you change about it? What could be different? I'm not even sure what I could tell you could be different about this thing. It arrived in three boxes, I think. One for the frame, one for the pad. And maybe there's a smaller one for hard. I can't even remember. It was super easy to put together. I don't know if it took me 20 minutes or so. But overall, it's been an awesome bench. I've loved it. And I could easily recommend this to yeah. people. Seems like the packaging, uh, I didn't see it. I wasn't here, of course, but it must have been well done. What I, what I note of it is I've gotten a lot of equipment shipped to mm. Massonomics Gym over the, day, over the years, and there's oftentimes just a lot of like minor scuffs and nicks and stuff, and this looks really, really clean. Like yeah. It looks like it came in pretty pristine condition. Th that is a really good point. I have very little experience unboxing equipment yeah. and knowing how that, that goes. But I was even surprised, one, how nicely it was packaged up. Like everything was just, you can tell a lot of thought and care went into that. And the finish, there was no nicks, no defects, no nothing in the finish. It was perfect throughout. I was really impressed. And just speaking of the finish itself, super even. You know, sometimes you might see thin spots or spots that maybe didn't get 100% coverage. And I'm really impressed with the finish all across this entire bench. It, it's really well done. So I've got to say, we were talking about this being like the best bang for your buck uh, garage gym, home gym, adjustable bench that you can buy out there as far as a happy balance of price and uh, just utility, like how good it actually performs. I don't even know though, this might just be even a straight up good, good bench for a commercial gym too. It's kind of making me think I need one of these also, <laughs> even though we already have multiple adjustable benches. A hundred percent. Are there better benches out there? Probably for the price. I don't think, if there is right. for the price, I'd love to know what that is, because right. that would be an incredible bench. But I just, uh, I, I do think this is a really solid bench. If you're into powerlifting, you like that, just a big beefy bench that you can know you can count on for years to come, I think that this rep bench is a very solid option. Awesome. Uh, any, any other questions about the bench, Tanner? No, I love it. I think we're gonna actually get to put it to use a little bit more later today uh, outside of this video. So maybe I'll have some, uh, opinions of my own at some point too but uh be curious to hear people in the comments what they think of uh this bench also you know because i think it is a pretty popular one mm -hmm. you know a rep has become kind of known for their benches i think that they're uh a lot of the reasons we talked about so i'll be curious to hear other people's take on this as and, well and they do they have a lot of options so if you're you know if power lifting or if you're not benching a whole lot of weight there's some smaller ones that would probably suit you just as well but it is nice that they do have those options and they do exist awesome so Hopefully you like this video. If you want to see more like it, tell us. Tell us what other home gym stuff you'd like to see. Is there something else I need to be getting for my home gym? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you're subscribing. Follow the Massonomics podcast everywhere you get your podcasts. Follow us on Instagram. Go on the Massonomics website, buy some gear. Not this one, this one's not available. We won't talk about that. But uh, head on over to massonomics.com and we'll see you guys later.